Hey, Dad. Hi. What are you doing? Not nothing. No, I'm um, I'm working. I'm editing. I'm editing. Mm. Go clean the kitchen. Go clean your room. Go play in the street or something. These kids are narcs. They always tell Mayor. Today's episode is sponsored by NordVPN. It's one of the most trusted privacy and security service providers in the world. With Nord, all of your internet data stays safe behind a wall of next generation encryption, ensuring it will never be compromised. They don't track, collect, or share your private data, and they can even mask your IP address so that my wife can't track what guns I'm looking at. I mean, um, so hackers can't find me. They let you choose from over 5,400 servers in 59 countries so you can easily enjoy internet all over the world. One of their latest features that I'm really excited about is their threat protection. Threat protection steps up your cybersecurity. Once threat protection is on, it protects from malicious sites, downloads, trackers, and intrusive ads. It is constantly on the lookout even if you're not connected to a VPN. You can get a two-year plan at a huge discount plus one additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash off the ranch. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash off the ranch. And you get a two-year plan at a huge discount plus one additional month for for free. The best deal on NordVPN right now is through my URL. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back I'm never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow when I move fast And that's facts Hey, that was Mayor's birthday party. Uh, it was super fun. And we were all wearing Link Active Swimwear, which is launching in a couple weeks. I'll keep you posted on that. But can we get a happy birthday Mayor going to the comments? I think that'd be super good. She just turned like 25 or 26. I can't remember which one it was. Super Super young and not old though. Um, also, on to other news. The last video I put up, everyone got very mad at me because I ripped uh, the bumper in half. Listen, everybody's like, why would you destroy the truck that you're gonna give away to somebody? It wasn't my intention. I really, I, I really didn't think the bumper would rip in half. I didn't know. But I'm not gonna leave you guys high and dry. So, I actually ordered a brand new bumper and I got one of these cool tubular ones um, because I think they look really cool on modified Toyotas and that one's lifted and got some big tires so we got a brand new rear bumper on the way and it was 750 bucks so it's a good one so don't you worry whoever wins that awesome green Yoda you'll have an awesome brand new really nice tubular bumper on the back Wow look at that view Good morning. You are in luck because I didn't think we were gonna be doing a house video until the end of the house videos, but today is not the end of the house videos and it is time for another house video. First, let me catch you up to speed as to what has been happening around these parts. Cool, we've got a couple things fixed. It's, it's better, you can actually see the cleaner in there. It's not moving because I think we got air in the line again. But you can see there, it was really cloudy. It's better now, it's not good. It's still got dirt just sitting on those white chairs in there. But it is better. We're, we're figuring out a few things, but you're, there's still a decent amount of dirt in our lake. I mean, pool. We also have tile up here. This is all gonna get tiled as well. We also have tile down there. We also have plants and rocks and flower beds. Look how good, we have flowers. Look how good this looks. And grass, some grass down there. We're still, I've, we're like moving tons of dirt. I've been pulling trailer loads of dirt from the bottom where we have like a lot of dirt, bringing it up here to the top where it's much rockier and we're trying to extend this area out a little bit further. Slowly but surely, we're making our yard usable and not just a hill up here. But look how good that grass looks. 
Dude, it is freaking popping in the early morning sun. Yeah, look at the look at this view. We also have that little building almost done. It just needs rock and it needs it also needs the inside finished out. But that is going to be not only a place to keep all the pool floats and toys and everything, but also it will have a bathroom in it because the other bathroom was like in the house kind of far away and like all the kids would have to run through wet to go to the bathroom. And we were like, it'd really be nice if there was a bathroom by the pool. And so we built that little house to keep our stuff and also to have a little, just a little half bath in there, which is cool. Today though, the thing that we were working on, you probably saw it in the thumbnail, is this pergola. I mean, it might look like we're gonna build like a skyscraper on top of this, because these are I-beams and they are freaking huge. As you can see, they're also dusty right now. But big old I-beams, big frame, we could stack Probably a whole tank on top of this, which we might do. Buenos dias. Right. But today we're gonna finish it out and put wood. So we're actually putting wood across this way and then another layer of wood across this way. And I have all that wood on my trailer right there. I also don't remember if you guys have seen the railing. Um, so we got all this railing done. Uh, this, all the railing and this was all done. <laughs> Look at the view. Holy cow, that's sunrise. All of this was done by my friend Brandon, who is a phenomenal welder. You guys have seen him many times before. But he came out here and just knocked this out. It looks so good. I can weld, but that dude can weld pretty. And so anything that anyone will ever see, I'm just like, hey Brandon, come, come weld for me because he's just so good at what he does. And he actually, these are all buried in the concrete. So he actually drilled holes into the slab sunk each of these posts down about six inches and then filled it. So this is super sturdy. Is Ain't going nowhere. This is connected. Yep, it's connected. Here's what Brandon did, which is crazy. He actually built all these in his shop. You can see this is a section. This one is bolted to this one. And this rail goes all the way to the end. And then that rail goes all the way there. He built all of these in his shop, went and measured them. And there's a slope to this too, because this thing has to be angled so rain goes off it. So there's a slope. He went and measured it all, got it all perfect, came here, put it all together. Just killed it. Just like that view is killing it right now. Okay, I'm gonna go get some clothes on so I don't get super sunburned out here. And then we are going to start putting this together and finishing up the pergola today. It's gonna be amazing. plan is, we got big ones, um, those are going here, and then all these we're ripping into like two by twos, and they're going to be the ones that go on top. So we're just cutting everything right now first, and then it should all piece together pretty easily. <laughs> Talk about OSHA, no, no, no. Look at that, okay, done. We're gonna leave that one just sticking out there. Um, we think it looks kinda cool, kinda like artsy, you know? You like that? No, not really. These are actually all gonna be cut. Um, we are actually not even done. 
can see we didn't make it over there. Need to get some more supplies and then we will finish it up. But what I like about this, it is right now 545 in the afternoon evening. And that sun is still very hot. It's 101 degrees today in Texas. But once the sun goes down, which it's about, it's about right there. So it's kind of at an angle. And this, even though there's a lot of room through there, totally blocks. So you can see as soon as the sun hits that, we are all shaded here, which is nice. When it's noon, you get about half shade. You can see it's every other space is wide open. So it does help during bright midday sun as well, but it's really nice when it gets a little angle on it and it works really good. So these kind of pergola things are, they're for looks, they're for shade too. They don't block rain obviously. So if it's a rainstorm, we got this nice big porch that will be up under. But if it's a nice sunny day, we're having a pool party or something, we can have, you know, kids eating pizza up here, getting a little bit of shade. And I also want to put like a big barbecue pit right over here. I think that would be super cool. Good spot for one. I want like a big one I, and I really, I kind of need y'all's help. I don't know a ton about um, like a big smoker pit. I want something that I can smoke ribs in, brisket, that kind of thing. But also one that's easy to just go like, cook some hamburgers if it's just you know just my family over here or one that has a big enough spot too where if there's you know a big kid pool party and there's just kids everywhere I can cook a bunch of hamburgers I just don't know how big to go I have a bunch of room so space is not an issue but like like could I get one that's too big to where it'd be annoying to cook burgers on it and I'd wish I just had like a little grill like that one over there I don't know you tell me you want to see inside the house you want to go on a house tour nice little house two doors so if we Go on. It's like jammed shut right now. Okay, we're gonna go in through this way. Ugh. So this one is going to be the storage side. So it makes an L. So we're gonna have some shelves in here. Just a storage room. We do have plugs because I want to get a air compressor so that we can blow up pool floats and things like that. Um, we're also gonna have lights in here, but this will not be a conditioned space. And then in here, there's just gonna be a sink right there, a toilet right there, probably a little cabinet with some toilet paper. Um, I think we're gonna keep towels in here. Towels and sunscreen and all that cool stuff will be in here. And when you're sitting in this toilet, it'd be kind of weird to have this glass in front of you. Like, people might be looking, but we told everyone like, hey, if someone's going, number two, don't look at them. Give them their privacy, guys. Let's be respectful. Oh wait, no, there's there's something here. Whoa, nice. And then there's some way to, oh yeah, like that, ha ha. Cool, so normally it'll just kinda stay closed. I actually don't know why it would ever be open, um, but it could be open if you wanted. Or you go all the way open and just, you know, have a nice view. Why well, you go number two, that's why it would be open, because yeah, this, Flush. Ah, nice. I had a guy today running a little skid steer as well as the mini excavator. And I've got this little contraption which picks up these, we call them butter sticks, these big old rocks. So they're basically just trying to figure out a way to transition this the best. Um, we talked about a few different ways. We talked about piling like three butter sticks high, but these things are expensive. And we were like, let's just do one row of the butter sticks and then kind of taper off. And so you can see that's what he was working on today is making a taper here. So it kind of has flat ground here, has a rise here up to that level, goes straight up there and then has a gentle rise there. So this line here, I think is the only line of rock we're gonna put back here. And we're gonna try to make it all nice and taper probably knock a little more off there to make it a little shallower there. So the yard will just sort of taper off and have a pretty natural look and try to make it mowable. If not, we'll probably just have to make it to where you can just go and weed eat it easily. But also that part will be less seen from the house. So it won't have to be, you know, perfect yard. And then, because the, the weird part is transitioning from like nice mowed grass to like, you know, the natural stuff. And so I think my plan is to have mowed grass on all the flat stuff, and then as soon as it starts coming down here, it's gonna be natural grasses that like doesn't get mowed really short. You know, this kind of stuff. This like Bermuda grass, and it kind of grows and everything, but it'll still be sort of watered, so it'll kind of, you know, nice green watered grass that's mowed well. Here, 
kind of watered grass that's not mowed super well going down to here where it's going to be all the natural grasses like that like that i think it'll just kind of have a nice gentle fade and it'll be going down the hill you won't be able to see i probably thought too much about this but i'm really i'm an outside guy i like yards i like grass i like trees and so that's what i'm thinking let me know what you guys think this is the back side of the pool we also this was like just straight down here and we were worried that kids would be playing up here fall off go eight feet down to some rocky stuff so a lot of our dirt we move back here so they fall four feet down to there'll be dirt and grass here and then hits the edge goes down that gentle slope down to the next level down there without anything you know that will hurt them ideally but that is that I'm actually gonna wrap this video up right now uh, this will all be done it's not done yet it'll be done tomorrow but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up because there's gonna be a lot of other stuff that's happening around here in the next few days as well. So I'm gonna wait and put all that together in a kind of part two of this series. But man, this is really shaping up. I freaking love it. So good. Let me know what you guys think. Also, this is all gonna get stained. This is uh, not gonna be painted. It's not gonna be left like this because it'll start weathering really quick. This will all, all this wood, will be stained um, as soon as we get done. And don't forget, we're gonna come down and make all this even. Don't think we're crazy on both sides working on it. Demo, you like? You in, bud? Pretty sure he's a fan. Thank you guys so much for watching kind of kind of an old school house episode. You like this? Yeah. I've kind of changed my mind. I think I'm gonna do a couple more. I know I said I'm not gonna do any more house episodes until the house is done, but it was fun. Like filming working on this thing again. So we may we may have a few more. I might go back on what I said and show you guys a couple house things. I hope that's okay with you. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Off the Ranch. I love you. We'll see you next time. She's right. Camera's at number... Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare!